What's going on guys? Ted here with a new video going over 2022.7, the big update, what I call the big update. And really the headline features here are the new bird's eye view, which is a 360 cam, actually the best implement implementation that I've seen in any car so far. It's stitched together really nicely. New trip data, which I'm going to go over. Basically, it's like the um, trip option in the sub menu of a Tesla. Enhanced owner's guide, what's great is they put it right over here um, in the dock and also they've organized it better. It's a little bit more fluid and they changed the font. Um, the rear display is available now so you can actually turn on the dome light, uh, control the vents from the rear, uh, the heated seats from the rear as well. And from the front, you can actually lock the, the rear screen if you need to. And there's a bunch of like small things here such as like improved or plus uh, the notifications are better, they're smoother. Um, it actually requires you to have your hands on the wheel before you engage so, or while you engage. That was something new that I learned. The regen is also smoother. That's one thing that I noticed as well as the, the brake hold. It's much, it's much more smooth. And the overarching theme of 2022.7 is really incremental improvement and also just like just smoothness. That seems to be the overarching theme. Another one that they really focused on is in the UI, they've kind of made it more like fluid and, and more jelly with more rubber banding effects. And they're really putting that unreal uh, engine to work here. So you'll see over here that there's a lot more um, animations when, when you're talking about like vent control. And another thing, you, in the past, you could only control one vent at a time. So there was no multi-touch. But now you can actually go ahead and and do multiple so that's that's pretty cool um the icons they, they changed the icons for the seat a little bit they did not take my uh, bacon strip suggestion uh to heart yet but overall that's the overarching theme of this update smoothness and of course of some of the the showstopper features that i was talking about and over here to get to your trip menu you'll see there's two additional um, icons here that were not there before so trip a and trip b and typically many people leave one um untouched when they get the del delivery of the vehicle for lifetime and then if you go ahead and you click here these are the details that a lot of people wanted what's your efficiency like what's the duration of your drive what's the total distance so you can do the math and then you know basically see uh, rated versus actual and uh, you could of course reset your trip right over there now going to the cameras this is the 360 view that I was talking about. And when I say it's like the best implementation that I've seen, because uh, you could actually use it in motion, which is really cool. You can see what's around. So this is really great in, in parking obstructions. And the lens distortion is really not that heavy. And there's not a lot of um, uh, things breaking up the image. So uh, in BMWs and GMs that I've driven in the past, it's kind of crazy. They had like all these, um, these cuts and uh, the, the stitch just was not clean, it was not responsive. And when you're using something like a camera like this for this functionality, you need the low latency. You need it to be almost one-to-one -one with your sight, otherwise it's a problem for the vehicle. And you go ahead and you could turn that off. And of course you do have uh, what was in the previous update, you can see the side repeaters under the camera and they made it clearer to switch from front to back and also um, clearer to indicate what you're actually looking at. Uh, this is really cool, nice and nifty, and I really like this feature a lot. I really, really do. And um, going to the owner's guide here, this is what I was referring to. There's artwork here now, uh, the fonts changed, the UI overall is just a lot smoother and, and in terms of the organization as well. And with the maps, um, I've noticed a lot less lag. So uh, it, 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 it loads really nicely. You could turn it really well as well. Um, so overall, like I said, the overall theme of this is smoothness and Rivian has um, uh, nailed it. I really like this update. It's really big. Uh, for those that do have their trucks already, congratulations, it's been like a big week. And um, I do hope to go over a little bit more. Uh, let me actually show you the rear screen here uh what i was referring to you could actually turn on and off the lights you can turn off the climate you can set it to the fan vents over here or the foot wells and then of course you have your heated seats and it shows you your uh temperature 
So overall, I'm really impressed and I'll catch you guys on the next video.